Hello everyone, today we are going to introduce our Dialys laser machine with its laser bar of 1200 watts and the function of this machine is to remove all the unwanted hair of our body no matter the shallow color or black color and now we are going to introduce how to install this machine now we are going to introduce the spare parts of our machine as we can see this is a removable screen and this is the connecting cable of the screen and machine these are the keys and this is the 1200 handpiece and this is the protective glasses for the operator and this is the Google for the patient and this is the water outlet and this is the power line and for this kind of distilled water we need to buy from our department store and these are all the spare parts. Now we show the installation of the removable screen. Uh, the first thing is we need to uh, place the screen in this machine and most importantly we do not place the machine upside down. This is the wrong way. So we fetch the connecting cable and this end to the machine and this is uh, the magnetic connector so we can stick to the screen so the installation of the screen is complete next we are going to install the handpiece the first thing is to place the handle in the hanger so in case the handle fall, fall to the ground and the next step is to install it to the back side of the machine, like this. Uh, before installation, the most important thing is we need to turn the unlock mark to the arrow. So we can connect the handle to the machine. And press like this. And spin this part. So the lock mark is to the arrow, so the installation of the handpiece is done. As we need water to cool down the laser generator, so uh, this machine must add water before running. And then we'll show how to add water. Step one, we need to uninstall the water pan cover. Uh, we need to uh, use distilled water or purified water for this machine. If we use bad water quality, and it will damage the laser generator. So we must use distilled or purified water for this machine. And then we add water to the water tank. We need to check if the water tank is full. If not, we continue. As we can see, the water tank is full, and so we can install the water tank cover. And if it is the first time we use the machine, because the Water pipe in the machine is also empty, so we must uh, add water again. As we press this button, so we can see the water filter. And for this water filter, we suggested that we change this water filter uh, half a year. And if the interface has a bad water quality warning, we should also change the water filter too. As we need to change the distilled water every week for this machine, so now I'll show how to empty the distilled water in this machine. Step one, we need to uninstall the cover of the water tank.
After taking off the water tank cover, we can find the water releasing hole. It's on the, this side of the machine. As we can see, this is the water releasing hole. And then we fetch a water outlet pipe. And the next step is to install it to the machine. So water will come out. When there's no water coming out from the machine, we need to take off the water pipe. And it's really simple. And all we need to do is press the spring in the connector so the water outlet pipe will be uninstalled. Now we're going to show how to install the power line. We install the power line directly to the machine after installing the power line and we can put up the special design that can prevent the power line from pulling off. After all the spare parts are installed and the key can be plugged in and we need to double check that the handpiece is correctly installed and we also need to check the water tank is filled with distilled water and this connector is installed correctly so we can turn on the machine before turning on the machine we need to pop up this uh, emergency stop all we need to do is turn this like clockwisely and it will pop up so we can turn the key to the right. Uh, when we turn on the machine, and our machine will have a self-detection system. And this is their detecting interface. And if there's nothing wrong with the machine, and we will go into the main interface. As we can see, this is the working time. And this is the use shots. Uh, it's also the total shots. And this is the current shots. And the most importantly, we need to learn is this is the energy adjustment. It's from one to one hundred joules. And we can click this to adjust or increase the energy. And this is the mode. It has three, uh, four different modes. And when we choose choose the mode and it has the uh, suggested parameter for the energy and the frequency and we clip the next mode it has also the different energy setting and this is the frequency and the range is from 1 to 10 and 10 is the fastest we can clip this to adjust the frequency and once we set the parameter for different patients. We can set the machine in ready mode so the machine is ready to shoot the laser. However, if we want to stop the treatment or the treatment is finished, we can click this standby button to set the machine in standby mode. And we introduce this part. This is the treatment tip temperature of the handpiece. And this is the water flow and this is the water temperature. Okay, we introduce the things needed. Uh, firstly, we see the tissue and wet tissue to clean the treatment area. This is the protective glasses that wear by the operator. And this is the cold gel, this is the tweezer, and this is the one-time shaver. We need to take pictures before the treatment. Then we take the one-time shaver to shave off the hair. And we can stretch the skin and then we shave. And it is better to leave the hair to one to two millimeter. So we can see the end point better. After shaving off the hair, we need to clean the treatment area. After cleaning, we apply a thin layer of cold gel to the treatment area. So we can move the handpiece smoothly. So after applying the cold gel, we can 
set the parameter for the patient. So we, next step, we can analyze their skin tone and the hair color of the patient since their skin is yellowish and it's not brown and the energy should not be too high and also the hair is black and strong so which means there are a lot of melanin in the hair so the energy we can start from 12 to 20 and we should start from lower energy as we say the suggested parameter or energy is from 12 to 20 and we should start from 12 and for the frequency we should choose 2 to 4 because the armpit air area is like not too big or too small so we can choose 3 and after setting the parameter we can set the machine in ready mode so we can start the treatment before the treatment both the patient should wear the blinders and operator wear the protective glass and then we put on this on our hand in case the handle drop so we can start the treatment we should test one or two shots and ask the feeling of the patient how do you feel? okay then we can increase the energy if we want to adjust the parameter, we need to set the machine in standby mode first. Since the energy is not so strong, we can increase the energy from 2 to 3 joules. And we increase to 15, and then set the machine in ready mode again. After adjusting the parameter, then we continue the treatment, and then we test. How do you feel? So after the feeling is okay, we can proceed the whole treatment and we go over like five to eight times. And during that time, the treatment tip should get close contact with the treatment skin. During the treatment, we should not move the handpiece too fast or too slow and we should follow the frequency and during that time it is normal to smell the burning smell of the hair and keep the treatment tip close to the treatment area after five to eight times of uh, sliding we can see the end point and we can see the hair is curled and the skin is reddish and some pores are swelling so this is the end point and we must go to the end point so we can achieve the result and after that we need to clean the treatment area after the treatment ends we need to clean the treatment tip first we need to clean the gel on the tip after cleaning the treatment tip we clean the treatment skin as we can see, the hair is burning and the hair is falling off. After cleaning the skin, the patient will feel a little bit uh, hot feeling on the treatment skin. We can apply a, a thin layer of cold gel or apply the cold compress for 5 to 10 minutes to feel, make it feel better.